Okay, uh, we are recording. Do we have your permission? I consent, Peter. All right. We are legally above board. Since you're a lawyer, that's a good thing. In the state of California, we're meeting our requirements. So uh, let's get this show on the road here. All right, here we are. Um, you know, what was it, 54 years from today? <laughs> Just about. And uh, we're watching this classic movie from Radnor High School. 16 millimeter film, uh, Bullock's camera. And here's one of the stars, along with uh, Rob's mom, uh, Bruce Shaw's 1965 Mustang red convertible. Very memorable. Not the usual vehicle for a middle-aged wean matron like my mother, but yeah, and been driving it. You think she may have left the keys in the car? I think she probably did. She certainly didn't see the juvenile delinquents over to the side. Yeah, did you notice that Dave Lighty initiated this in case, you know? I think he was the most to... guilty person from the evidence before. Yeah. So. And uh, notice that, uh, I don't know if uh, we had... Uh, uh, taking out the stock exhaust and putting glass pack. Uh, I don't know if uh, Bruce's dad ever, he must have known. And then we jacked it up a little bit. So there we go. You really hit the gas. I really did. <laughs> yeah. I think that's Pembroke Avenue in Wayne, I think. And there you go. Coming up on South Wayne Avenue off Conestoga Road. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Joy ride. Yeah, I wonder if we had seat belts back then. I wonder if you used them if you did. There's that AT&T Tower. Aberdeen and Lancaster Pike. Really striking that the police force uh, wholeheartedly uh, participated in the production of this movie. They had so much fun. I guess my mom called this in. There you go. We had to edit this film with uh, scotch tape and razor blades, so that that scene could have been edited down. Oh my goodness! I blushed through that intersection. Yeah. Look at this! Uh, red light, and he's going anyway. Right through the red light, man. That's yeah. impressive. Look at that. You were flying so fast, he couldn't stop. Not stop you. Here we go, Langster Pike in front of uh, Sears. We were filming this. I was really hoping this light would have turned red so you would have to run it. <laughs> How did you get designated as driver, Peter? Uh, that's a good question. Do you remember where this was shot? Yeah, this is right by the police station. Yeah. Uh, we were in front of the police station and coming down the hill. I can't remember the name of the road. Uh oh. Yeah, today they put spike spikes out to blow the tires, but I don't think the Shaws would have appreciated that. No, I don't think so. And this is filmed from inside the police station. That road is up behind there, the base there you of the go. Yeah. Where you were stopped. Okay, that's Detective Lennon on the left there with the white shirt. He taught me how to drive and probably a lot of other students in our class. He had a little side hustle as a uh, driving instructor. Yeah, he's a familiar face. Yeah. On my second time out, he took me to downtown Philadelphia. That was an experience for a rookie driver. Definitely. 
Yeah, I, re I remember this is a relatively new construction for the police oh. in the last couple of years, cinder block construction. Tommy Yuchenko looks very guilty. Yes, very. Oh, my goodness. Wonders if uh, these fingerprints uh, are still on file. Look at that camera. Oh my goodness. Mugshot. May 12th, 1969. Dave Lady gets processed. There you go. He went on to uh, follow his father's footsteps in dentistry. Went to the University of Pennsylvania. He should post this video on his website. It definitely. Add to his character. Or profile. We got individual cells there. Look at those doors, man. Uh oh. Now you're before the magistrate. I think that's Captain Hennessy. He was a long time rather police officer. And you all well, share the Bible. Today you each have your own attorneys and be processed separately, probably. But there. Three hands on one Bible. You're very serious, Peter. You're acting well. <laughs> well. I could have smiled more back in those days. Uh, I see. You were a lawyer. You were a lawyer practicing it. Were you a defense lawyer or on the government side? Uh, I did some defense work for a while. I was a most of it did civil work, plaintiffs work. Yeah. Youth. He's still connected with Tom, huh? I, I see him. Yeah, he can, he's. Uh, we've been hiking and doing other other outdoor stuff so almost every year. That's great. I love the way he pounds the Bible. <laughs> there was not audio recording when we did this. Uh, I think we just had music in the background. There might have been some voiceover, but we didn't have the capacity to. To record, which is probably good. Everybody yeah. was stuttering along. But uh, he's explaining why you guys are guilty. And Captain Hennessy's eating it up. And you know you're in trouble. Yeah, we're in big trouble. He's saying, send them away. And your memory is they really enjoyed doing this. The police love this. They, they particularly like the chase scene, but they like locking you up, too. <laughs> Amazing. Getting the bad news. And the high school helped finance this? They did. They put some money in, and we showed it in the classes. It was spring of our senior year, and there was people weren't that excited about working. So uh, we went classroom to classroom showing it showing copies of this and, and playing the music along with it. The chase scene was to the doors. I can't remember what this was. Yeah, it is. I was struck that the doors were actually one of my favorite bands from that era as well. They were good. So this is Glen Mill School. This was the reform school that you would have been, in fact, you are being sent to in this scene. Yeah. Lock them up. I didn't get to see this I, this setting. I think inviting out film this, but they're meeting you at the door to process you in your jail outfit, your reform school outfit. Look at that Victorian architecture. Oh my goodness. That's this juvenile facility mainline style. Oh my God. Look at the church. It's like straight out of, it could be a Harry Potter set. <laughs> Amazing. After I graduated, I went to a juvenile detention center in South Philadelphia. I can tell you it didn't look like that. No. I was delivering ice cream for Potts Ice Cream Company. 
There we go. There's the cast. Yeah. Interestingly, I called my mother instead of Ruth Wilmington, Mrs. M. H. Wilmington. That's an artifact of a prior era that's glad to be gone. So why don't you identify? Go ahead. We have Ed Viding off on the left, and then me, my hand up. Dale Pretz in the middle, looks like he's giving a peace sign. Dave Lighty, and then Tom Yuchenko. And I guess you you either were filmed this or you stayed at reform school. I can't recall which. Yeah. Well, there we go. Fun, Peter. Thanks. All right, man.